these trainees uh, in Ethiopia would have access to videos and um, internet, and they could watch some of these cases. But there's uh, just no way; it doesn't compare to us working together in a very close setting, hands-on. These doctors do not have access to a lot of the uh, the uh, medical equipment that that that's available to us, and also. For the management of complicated cases, they do not know how to address them. Uh, on the first day, we would screen as uh, we would screen some of these complicated patients that they were not able to manage themselves, and then we would select the surgical cases, and then the following three to four days, we would do surgeries on these patients. Some of the cases that we did were strabismus cases. So they would hold the needle holders or Wesca scissors and they would cut tissues or pass the needle and I would watch them very closely to make sure that it is done properly and accurately. Hands-on training uh, is really very important. Uh, it's special in that it is not theoretical. Uh, it's uh, a skill transferring directly on the patient. And I can observe, I can assist, and I can also uh, do some of the steps. W one of the very important step or skill that I learned from uh, Dr. Uh, Doni so is uh, the, the skill, the surgical skill that he's doing is uh, easy to understand. He has uh, taught us during the lecture the, the, the different hook, the muscle hook, especially the grooved hook. Uh, it's uh, newly designed and it's very important. So that will give, that will give me uh, very, another new technique of doing strabismus surgery.